Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me AD744. So today guys we'll be doing our 2024 predictions for the new year guys. And today I want to start with the new year off and getting these predictions right. So hopefully this year we can at least get 12 of the 24 correct. I think last year I got like 6 or 7. It was pretty bad. This year I got to improve massively. And I want to wish everyone a happy new year guys. To everyone that is celebrating. We're going to kickstart the year with a brand new video. I hope you guys do enjoy and let me know your 24 predictions for the year 2024. And maybe, who knows, we'll do like a fun challenge. Whoever, you have to make your predictions on the day of January 1st. Any predictions made after January 1st will be invalid. So if you want to get your predictions counted, please put it on this day and it will count. Okay? And I'll look back at the year, I'll look back in, um, at the end of the year and see who, who gets the most right. So let's start with the first prediction I got here is Manchester City is going to win Premier League. I'm still stink they are. They're the team to beat. They're the most cohesive club. And I just feel like for me, the other clubs, I don't trust. I don't trust Arsenal. Arsenal, for me, have not been great. Liverpool, for me, I think they have what it takes. It's just that I don't think Liverpool's away record is great. And I just feel like City's going to go on that winning streak. City's going to go on that inevitable winning streak. And you know it. So, yeah. I think City will do it. Moving on. Next prediction I have, number two, is Bayern Munich to win the Bundesliga. This is a pretty straightforward. I know people are telling me Bayern Leverkusen. and I actually respect them. I just feel like for me, Bayer Leverkusen are not going to have enough consistency to win the league. Hence the reason why I think they'll um, come up short. Third prediction I have is PSG to win the league on. This is a really obvious prediction. Don't even need to elaborate on this one. Now, I have Real Madrid to win La Liga. This pains me to say this is a Barca fan. And I feel like for me, I just don't think Barca can do it this season. I think this season, there's too much obstacles. We've already had a bad start to the first half of the season. And I just feel like for me, I don't see Real Madrid. I don't see Barca doing back-to-back. It will take a whole lot for them to do. And people are telling me, Girona, I'm sorry. I respect Girona. They're a great club. They're not winning this league. I said it here first. I really hope they do. I would love to see them do it. Obviously, I would rather see them do it than Real Madrid. But objectively speaking, I just can't see how Real Madrid will win this league. Their attack looks great. Defensively, they look very solid. I've been really impressed with Real Madrid. Number five is Inter to win the Serie A. I think Inter, for me, have been the best team in Italy, and I'm pretty confident they're going to win Serie A this season, and um, I'm really, really confident they are. Number six, as I have Manchester City win the Champions League, I think Manchester City will do back-to-back. -back. I think they're still the team to beat in the Champions League, and I haven't seen any other teams to prove me elsewise, else wrong. Number seven, and now this might come as a surprise, and many people might be surprised I'm saying this, I genuinely believe that Milan can win this Europa League. I think Milan can win the Europa League, and because... I'm looking at the caliber of teams here, right? You have Liverpool. Liverpool is a very obvious pick. I don't think Liverpool is going to win the Europa League. I think they'll be more focused on the Premier League title race. And that's the same for Leverkusen. I just feel like with Roma, they don't have enough quality. So I'm looking at other teams. And for me, Milan stand out to me the most. So that's why I picked Milan. Like I said, though, with the Europa League, it's not a very straightforward competition. It's actually very complicated because a lot of teams might prioritize their own leagues over this. So we have to take that into consideration when making these predictions. So that's why I feel like Milan's going to do it because I feel like for me, Milan, I'll kinda, I feel like Milan, are, it's too much for them to compete in the Serie A. I don't think they have what it takes to win the Serie A. And I feel like they're going to go all in for the Europa League and, you know, you know, salvage their season. Number eight is I have Fiorentina. I think Fiorentina will finally win the Conference League this season. You know, West Ham isn't there this time around. And I think they'll be able to do it. I think they'll be able to do it this time. And I'm pretty confident they have a good squad. So I think they can do it. Number nine is this one. Is I don't think Manchester City will do back-to-back -back trebles. I, in fact, think they'll do a double, but they're not going to win a treble. I think they're going to lose out the FA Cup. Um, and obviously, they already knocked out the uh, Carabao Cup. And, yeah, they already lost the Community Shield. So, I feel like Manchester City will not do back-to-back -back trebles, but they'll still do a, you know, a back-to-back du -back doubles. They'll still win back-to-back -back champions again, La Liga. I mean, sorry, EEPL titles. So, yeah. Number ten is, I think, this one. And I feel like Barca will go trophyless. I think Barca will go trophyless this season, and meaning that I think Xavi will leave at the end of the season. Now, I said leave, by the way. I didn't get to say sacked. But he will leave at the end of the season. I think we'll find a new coach at the end of the season because I do believe Barca will go trophyless this season. I'm really, I really hope I'm wrong, though, but I just have this feeling that we will go trophyless. Number 11 is I think Mbappe is going to leave. Uh, Mbappe is going to stay at PSG. I'm fairly confident in him staying there. Number 12 is I think Salah will leave Liverpool. I think this will be his last season at Liverpool. I think, for me, I think he's going to go to the Saudi Pro League, and I think it'll be a massive, massive, it'll be huge for the Saudi Pro League. I just think Salah, for me, 
he will leave at the end of the season. I just have a feeling. Number 13 is moving on to international ones. I have Argentina to win the Copa America. I think Argentina will do back to back in Copa America. Number 14 has England to win the Euros. And number 15 is I have Ivory Coast to win the Africa Cup of Nations. I believe Ivory Coast can do it, guys. I'm going to go with Ivory Coast to do it. Number 16 is I'm going to go with South Korea to win the Asian Cup. I think they're going to do it. Number 17 is I think Ghana's going to get eliminated in the round of 16. I think they'll disappoint, and I think they're going to have very much underperform. And maybe potentially Nigeria as well. Number 18, I have Cameroon to go out of the group stage. I think Cameroon will go out of the group stage of the AFCON, which may, which will be a huge surprise. Number 19, as I'm hungry to reach the semifinals of the uh, the Euros. Now, keep in mind, that was from my early predictions video. Um, so, we'll see if I change my mind in a few months' time. But as of January, I believe they will, although they may subject to change. Number 12, as I have Son to be the top scorer of the Asian Cup. I think he'll uh, uh, score the most goals in the tournament. Number 21 is I have Salah to be the top scorer in the AFCON. I have a feeling that Salah is going to score a lot of goals, but it won't be enough for Egypt to obviously win the um, tournament. Number twelve is uh, number 22 is I have Kane to be the top scorer in the Euros. And number three, 23 is I have Messi to be top scorer in Copa America. And the final, the last one is I think Kane's going to score the most goals this year in 2024. So I hope you guys did enjoy this predictions. Let me know your predictions in the comments below, guys. Remember guys to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.